The wilderness is a dangerous place. Without adding cannibal serial killers into the equation, nature is already full of terrifying carnivorous predators and hazardous obstacles. This overwhelming sense of helplessness and isolation then is of course at the center of dozens of outdoor horror films, and many you may be surprised to hear are actually based on real events, even if the filmmakers themselves may have taken some, let's call it artistic liberty, with the events that inspired them. With that in mind, I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 horrific wilderness horror movies based on true events. Number 10, Blackwater. From Lake Placid, Crawl, and that harrowing scene from X, crocodiles are no stranger to the horror genre. Although the reptiles and events in those films are completely fictional, however, those in indie Aussie flick Blackwater were not entirely. This flick sees Grace embark on a holiday alongside her husband and sister. And while the trip gets off to a good start, it takes a disastrous turn when they go on a fishing trip deep into a mangrove swamp. Their boat is attacked by a crocodile killing their guide and leaving the holidaymakers stranded on a nearby tree. With the boat just out of reach and the croc unrelenting in its hunt, Blackwater is an effective and fun horror. Alongside using real crocodiles in the production itself though, the filmmakers also added an extra sense of realism to the premise by basing it on real accounts of crocodile attacks in Australia. Hell, the main premise for the film drew upon the nightmarish ordeal that two teenagers faced on the 21st of December 2003, who, after a crocodile killed their friend, found themselves trapped in a tree overnight while the animals circled below. Thankfully, in real life, the teenagers were eventually rescued. Number 9. Backcountry If you thought the bear scene from The Revenant was intense, then you haven't experienced the savagery of Adam McDonald's backcountry. The film sees couple Jen and Alex travel to Ontario for what they hope will be a romantic camping trip to patch up their relationship. Unfortunately for them though, there's an uninvited third guest in the form of a black bear who's about to turn their weekend away into a living nightmare. The visceral nature of the grizzly climax, that's not a pun by the way because it's a black bear not a grizzly, coupled with the various other stresses the couple face in the wilderness before the bear arrives is enough to put anyone off camping for life. However, the true events it's based on are just as unnerving. Though getting the idea for the film while camping with his wife, McDonald has spoken about drawing upon details of one true story in which a husband and wife were attacked by a bear in Ontario's Missinibe Lake Provincial Park in 2005. While the husband was able to fight the bear off with a knife before it dragged his wife away, the woman unfortunately succumbed to her wounds before she could reach a hospital. Number 8. Devil's Pass Devil's Pass, otherwise known as the Dyatlov Pass Incident, is all about a group of fictional characters trying to get to the bottom of a real-life mystery. As the alternate title makes it abundantly clear, that mystery is the Dyatlov Pass Incident itself, a strange tragedy that saw a group of Soviet hikers die in mysterious circumstances in the Ural Mountains. While nobody has conclusively pieced together the exact cause, the details of the case allowed the public's imagination to run wild, with mutilated bodies seemingly pointing towards something more sinister than a natural disaster. In Devil's Past, though, the whole thing is explained away by monsters, secret experiments, and even a wormhole. While this movie, of course, doesn't even attempt to try and provide a serious answer to, or serious recreation of, the original mystery like some of the other movies on this list, it still makes for an interesting watch, even if that interest is simply regarding the ethics of spinning a larger-than-life folktale out of a real-life natural disaster that killed nine people. Number seven, open water. Ever since Jaws hit our screens in 1975, Hollywood has continued to give us reasons to be afraid of the ocean and the toothy terrors that lurk beneath its surface. None of these films, however, have been as bleak as open water, which is made more unnerving thanks to the true events that it's based on. That story is of American couple Tom and Eileen Lonergan, who were accidentally left behind on a scuba diving trip in January 1998. It took two days for anyone to realize they were missing, but after a three-day search, only some of their equipment was found washed ashore. Nobody knows exactly what happened to them, though the theory is they succumbed to exhaustion and drowned or were attacked by sharks. In this film, when protagonists Daniel and Susan find themselves in the same terrible situation, open water throws viewers into the same hopeless scenario alongside them. With nothing but empty oceans surrounding them and sharks menacingly circling their increasingly wet 
wary bodies. The film emphasizes that there's nothing the couple can do to actually save themselves. All they can do is wait for help to arrive, if it ever does. Number 6. Borderland Thanks to gory horror like Hostel and The Ruins, holidaymakers have reasons to think twice about booking their dream getaway. And one film you can add to this pile is Zev Berman's Borderland. Like most films of its kind, Borderland sees a group of college students set out on a trip for what should be the time of their lives. This time, the friends want to travel to the Mexican border for a week of sex and drugs, but when walking back from a carnival, one of them is abducted by a drug cartel to be used as a human sacrifice. While the victim's friends join forces with the local police officer to rescue him, the student is left to endure grisly torture from his kid. Kidnappers. Now, as outlandish as the premise sounds, the events in Borderlands are actually inspired by the real kidnapping of American college student Mark Kilroy in 1989 by notorious serial killer and cult leader Adolfo de Jesus Constanzo. Constanzo would torture and kill his victims at a remote ranch in the Mexican desert, believing his black magic would make the drug smugglers invisible. Ironically though, it was a cultist who believed he was invisible that led the authorities straight to the ranch. Number 5. The Widow in 1999, The Blair Witch Project succeeded in making an entire generation scared of going into the woods. The three students' ordeal in a Black Hills Forest is one of the most effective examples of the found footage genre to date, but despite everything about the marketing telling us otherwise, the film itself was a complete work of fiction. Russian horror, The Widow, likewise takes audiences deep within the heart of a spooky forest, in this case near St. Petersburg, as we follow a group of volunteer rescuers searching for a missing boy. Unfortunately for them though, this forest is also said to be the home of a malevolent witch. And when their search leads them to finding a woman lying naked in the wilderness, all hell breaks loose in this atmospheric horror. Now, the film itself claims to be based on the eerie tale of volunteer rescuers who disappeared in 2017 and while it's doubtful they really did fall prey to a witch, people have been reported to have gone missing in this area over the last 30 years. Most of these people are said to have vanished without a trace and the few that were found have all been found naked. Number 4. The Hills of Ice Wes Craven's 1977 exploitation horror classic The Hills of Eyes sees the Carter family come face to face with a family of mutated cannibals when their car crashes in the middle of the desert. It's a grungy and violent slice of 70s horror action, but you might not be aware that it is based on true historical events, though there is some debate about the accuracy of these tales. Craven openly spoke about his inspirations behind the film being the stories of 18th century Scottish cannibal Sonny Bean and his family. Living in caves across the coast, Bean, alongside his wife, ambushed and devoured travelers who passed by on nearby roads. It was only when one of their potential victims escaped and informed King James VI of what happened that a search party was dispatched to capture the family, who were consequently brutally executed for their crimes. According to Craven, his film was to act as a modernized version of this gruesome tale, in which his goal was to demonstrate that the civilized family was just as barbarous as the cannibals themselves. Moreover, the 2006 remake likewise drew upon real-life horror stories of nuclear testing, creating the cannibals using photos of injuries from Chernobyl and Hiroshima. Number 3. The Sacrament from the likes of Kill List, Midsummer, and The Endless, there's no shortage of horror movies about nefarious cults. However, one such film that draws straight from the real world is Ty West's 2013 chiller, The Sacrament. This incredibly underrated found footage flick follows a small group of journalists who travel to the isolated rural compound of Eden Parish after learning that one of the team member's sisters has joined the cult. They intend to make a documentary about the organization and its charismatic religious leader known only as Father. Despite the cultists being warm and welcoming to the journalists initially though, events take a sinister turn when a group of dissidents begin to rebel against the cult and the journalists are stopped from leaving. With Tensions running high, the film culminates in a shocking sequence in which the cult leader encourages his devout members to commit suicide by ingesting poison. Now, while the film doesn't explicitly claim to be based on a true story, the cinematic events bear a striking resemblance to the infamous 1978 Jonestown Massacre, in which over 900 people were killed after drinking poison. West himself has been open in interviews about Jonestown acting as the inspiration behind his own creepy cult horror as well, so this one still counts. Number 2. Alive 
On the 13th of October, 1972, a Uruguayan rugby team were flying to Chile with their friends and family for a match. However, disaster tragically struck while their plane was over the Andes. The aircraft collided with the side of a mountain and crashed into the snowy wasteland below, stranding the surviving passengers in sub-zero conditions with scarcely any resources. Out of the 45 passengers who boarded the flight, only 16 survived. But to do so, they had to resort to the unthinkable and eat the frozen bodies of their loved ones while they waited 10 long weeks for rescue to arrive. This gripping true story was brought to the big screen in a life. While not the first film based on this tale of survival and desperation, this retelling stands out thanks to outstanding performances from its ensemble cast and jaw-dropping special effects. Although Alive is presented as more of a taut thriller than all-out horror, the film nevertheless has its fair share of terrifying moments. Number 1. Wolf Creek The Australian outback is one of the worst places to become lost. Surrounded by nothing but hundreds of miles of untamed wilderness, any help is far out of reach. And this is precisely why it makes the perfect setting for a horror film, with one of the most effective of those being Wolf Creek. When a group of backpackers become stranded in the wilderness, they're rescued by a stranger called Mick. He offers to help fix their car and send them on their way, however he instead drugs the group before mercilessly torturing them. Despite this intensely violent affair beginning with a title card claiming to be based on a true story, the events depicted here are fictional. Rather, Wolf Creek finds its connection to real-world horrors through the grim inspirations behind its cold-blooded antagonist. According to filmmaker Greg McLean, the inspiration for Mick came from real-life serial killer Ivan Millet. Also known as the Backpack Killer, Millet killed seven hitchhikers around Belangloff State Forest north of Sydney between 1989 and 1992. Though knowing Mick Taylor himself never existed will be a sigh of relief after seeing his diabolical actions, discovering he does have a real-life counterpart makes the character that bit more sinister. So that's our list. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of these movies? And did you know the true stories they were based on? Let me know. And while you're down there, could you please give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to What Culture Horror for more lists like this on the regular. Even if you don't, I've been Josh. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.